My name is Vahid Chitsos, part of Elite Mastermind Group. Uh, I apologize for my delay, but I'm here now, Chris. Let's start. Go ahead and introduce yourself to everybody. Let us know where you're coming in from. Hey, everyone. I'm Chris Cota from Atlanta, Georgia. Um, and, you know, what I do for everyone, it's hard to say because what we, we do is we're a, a solutions company and we focus on marketing and technology. But you never know what someone needs. So we'll really go into an entire business and fix their flow and figure out, you know, is it a system problem? Is it a people problem? Is it a salesperson problem? Sometimes it's just a mindset problem. And, you know, I, so I believe that I'm called to help people find their fastest and path to success. Got it. Chris, when did you start with thinking Grow Rich? I'd probably say... Man, probably about seven years ago, I've, I've been I've been reading it, listening to it, you know, um, doing some of the pr principles, practicing what it says, you know, going back and coming back since my kids have been born. My oldest is seven, so I'll say seven years. That is nice. What are some of the principles that you're utilizing today in your business currently? Um, pattern. Well, for me, it's really energy and frequency and patterns. So when you when you see things happening and you pay attention to, you know, like last year, for example, you're like, I've seen this before. What happened? What did we learn from it? And what can we change? Because you know, and you're always challenged with diversity and all this craziness that can come up, but. And it challenges your mind on how you think. So whatever you think about, you know, you're trapped. So if you're thinking about, oh, man, i got to pay my bills. i, I got to do this. Or, oh, man, like all the bad stuff, you're going to have a bad day. You're going to have a bad week. You're going to, you know, so, you know, I always try to focus on gratitude in the mornings, for example. Um, I'll even, you know, hey, I'm thankful for that shirt. I'm thankful for the sock. Like little pieces, like to try to get the flow of energy moving, the gratitude flow. I agree with that 100%. Let's talk about adversity. When those things hit you, when things are not going according to the plan that you did, how do you deal with it? What's your remedy for it? How do you, how do you face them? Do you go to a mentor? Do you read more books? Do you try to solve it on your own? What's your response to that? A combination of all the above. Like today, for example, um, I had everything planned. I was getting ready to go out to, to my office and I get a phone call. Hey, uh, your son has a fever. You need to come pick him up. I'm like, oh my gosh. We, we've had him already home for like two or three days sick. It's just a fever. But it, you know, when you have kids involved and you're trying to do work and conference calls and stuff, it's very difficult. So then, you know, I was prepared to do this interview at my office. And all of a sudden, I'm, I'm stuck. Like I'm, I'm at home having to coordinate me doing the interview. I got my, my child downstairs. He's happy uh, playing. You know, I could hear him do, doing whatever he's doing, um, trying to keep it, you know. And then I'm like, all right, I'm bet. I'm ready. All right, one thirty hits. Boom. Uh, nobody's here. Like, <laughs> what's going on? It was, it was hitting us both at the same time. I love what it. How it happened. Well, you want to know everything happens for a reason. There was definitely a reason for it. So it's cool. I'm I'm glad that he's okay and you got him you got him from school. But I see so many entrepreneurs and so many individuals when those temporary defeats hit them, a lot of them they freeze up. You went in the mode of let me be resourceful, let me just make it happen. I'm gonna do it at the house. But a yeah. lot of other people would have dealt with it differently. Yeah, well, and, and, and those kind of things can usually take you out and mess up your whole day. Um, but I'm, I'm also looking at it like, okay, do I need to spend more time with him? Is that what this is telling me? Is it because he recently got hurt at daycare too, really bad, like like all the way, a big gash in his head, all the way to the bone. And I've been I've been dealing with, um, you know, I attempted to get the, the tape, and the tape didn't exist that magically disappeared that day. And um, you must be a tough kid. Yeah, yeah, but you know, and, and and me, I don't, I don't like legal stuff. I don't really like to go there. But when you're dealing with your child and you're dealing with insurance and that medical bill that popped up, that was like almost four grand for like twelve stitches. My insurance didn't cover it, so it's like out of pocket. So then, 
I'm like, okay, you guys got to pay for it because this happened on your watch. I pay you guys a monthly fee, and, you know, substantially high fee for daycare. And, um, and, and I was like, and I talked to a bunch of people, talked to a couple of my mentors, and they're like, you know, you need to pursue legal action. And, and I did that, and then I was about to, because I believe sometimes legal action can also be um, karma. Karma can come back from that. And I didn't like that feeling, so I was getting ready to call it off. And I walked in that day, and a teacher had my son's arm and wasn't watching where he, she was pulling him and pulled his, his forehead smack into a metal door, and I watched it. And I'm like, okay, I guess I, I'm not supposed to call this off because this is messing with safety of other children that's possible for getting hurt again, and I need to get him out of there. So now I'm actually, that's what I was doing today, is looking for a new child care provider or a nanny or, or something. I'm like, why is all this in the uh, so sometimes you just, you know, you know, they say cash flow, but there's also going with the flow to try to find the path of least resistance. Cause, and sometimes we're presented these obstacles to solve a problem. I agree with that 100%. You're just being resourceful and getting it done. And I understand what happens with babies. Is a, it, it is a very sensitive uh, there, they should be very lucky that that did not happen to my daughter because my wife is an attorney and she would have brought the whole entire legal department and the legal force on. So they're very lucky that did that, that did not happen here because then you have that. And, and, and here is, here is, here is my, my question to you. When that happens, that still doesn't stop you from continuing your business. The, the show still goes on. But that's what I see with a lot of entrepreneurs. That's what happens. And I think that's what Dr. Hill was trying to convey throughout the whole book, Thinking Go Rich, that, hey, adversity, temporary defeat, all of these life challenges will still be there. It's not that successful people don't have those. It's how you and I react to it. It's, it's not what, what happens. It's how we react to it, how we take it in, and how we're able to still push, press forward. Now, it might slow you down a little bit, but still you're pushing forward. So I agree with that 100%. Now, Chris. Yeah, you're right. It, it's about how you react. But also when you see all this stuff, you're like, you got to reassess what you were thinking about like a few days before to really, okay, what, what, am, what am I attracting? And how can I, I got to change, you know, something that's creating this um, magnetic pull of just craziness. Craziness. I love it. That's how you go. So if somebody, Chris, has not read the book, why do you recommend people to read Think and Grow Rich or any self-development book? Why should they study these materials? Because more than likely, a majority of people out there, you can see things that are going on with other people in their life, and you can help them get through some struggles just because it's natural intuition. But however... You can never see yourself. So in order to work on yourself, you just got to work on yourself. And eventually someone will point something out to you and say, you know, this, this, whatever. You know, have you ever read Think and Grow Rich? And that will all start happening. So you'll all start attracting. I have a whole bunch of people we talk about it all the time. You know, Napoleon Hill said this, Napoleon this. Napoleon, and then, oh, you know what? That's why this isn't working because in order to – reach a goal you have to have a definite plan to get there ah really gonna get a phone call right now okay. you're saying about goals yeah so in order to reach a goal you have to have a definite plan to get there if you don't have a definite plan you can have that goal but you know how do you get there so you know for me i like to go all right by my goals 30k how can i work backwards from that how many of this, do I need to get um, in recurring revenue to reach 30K, for example? Or, you know, you, you have to find that plan. But for people that's never read it, I, I'll say this. It's kind of like it's kind of like an entrepreneur's version. I don't, uh, it's a tricky way to say it, but of how an entrepreneur can, like a, like a man like Dr. Hill, can convert some of the methodology and the the thinking in the Bible that goes into that, but it doesn't sound so, you know, 
new age, like, because everyone's like, spiritual is one thing, you know, uh, God is another thing. But, you know, for me, uh, God is everything. Spiritual is God and the universe is God. So it's like, you know, and, and if energy is God, then I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where I was going. With that. You were on the right path. You were on the right path, and I, and I agree with that. Because sometimes, here, here's the funny part, Chris. Let me tell you something. I've been doing a little bit of a game for myself. So I'm kind of doing a research. I ask a lot of successful people that I come across with, and I ask them a specific question. I'm like, why are you successful? Believe it or not, most of them don't know why they're successful. Most of them cannot put in, they, they can't exp, they can quantifiable, they can't logically tell you the order of the things that they did, that they were successful. Oh, I worked hard. I'm like, nah, no, construction people work hard too. Yeah. Oh, I worked smart. I'm like, okay, then why all engineers are not millionaires and billionaires, right? Why high school dropouts become billionaires and all of these NASA engineers are not billionaires. It doesn't make sense. So a lot of successful people, they do the principles, but then when you ask them, why are they successful? Most of them don't know how to explain. They're like, well, it just happened. I went to work. Well, no, we need to know exactly how you did it so we could kind of go back and reverse engineer it or actually teach it to other people. So I think yeah. that's what it took Dr. Hill 20, 30 years of studying these people because a lot of these people didn't know themselves. So I think Dr. Hill with his research, he had to like, pull it out of them, organize it, and come up with the top 15, 16, 17 principles, depending on which book you read. So, I, I, listen, you're, you're totally on a, a lot of people ask me the same question, and it's hard for me to explain. It. So, it's one of those phenomena that it happens, but we don't know what, were, what was the exact reasoning why it happened. It's a multiple things that come together that makes yeah. that happen. I mean, you can, you can be super successful and... I mean, you could lose it overnight. I mean, I had a business that I was in, and you know, we're generating 30, 40 grand a month, and all of a sudden, that went to zero overnight because the credit card processor decided, nah, we don't want you no more. So right. to recollect all those clients again was a nightmare, a nightmare. But you, you also wonder, why did all that happen? But it also shows you a way to never let it happen again. And I'll, this is a tip for everyone out there. If you're running businesses and you're taking credit cards, make sure you get a copy of the front and back. Because if you don't get a copy of the front and back and the address that goes with it, if your system goes down, you got to go collect them again. Oh, I agree with that 100%. Listen, Chris, I appreciate it. Thank you so much for spending this time with us. Hopefully your son will feel better. If there's anything that me and my team can do for you, you let us know. Definitely will. I'll, I'll definitely be reaching out because I know we connected for some reason. Let's do it. No problem, brother. Looking forward to it. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. Have a good one. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.